Hey, Michelle, thanks for uh, doing a video testimonial for us here at Hoyt Integrative Health. You are at the tail end of six months of uh, working on several very serious health conditions that uh, brought you to us in the first place. You've asked me to kind of limit or to go through the list of those, and then I'm going to ask you to tell us how things are now. How's that? Yes. Okay. So uh, when you came to us, your energy, as you described it, was on a scale of 1 to 10. It was a 1. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Yes. And you had severe hives. Well, my, I would say mild to moderate hives, mm -hmm. but they were consistently getting worse. Yes. Uh, you had severe uh, periods and PMS uh, that have persisted since you were 9 years of age yes. uh, up until now at 40 years of age mm -hmm. and have been associated with infertility and at one point hospitalization, you've told me as many as 120 ibuprofen, is that correct? Yes. A month? Yes. Uh, for these severe, heavy cycles with a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Other things uh, that we talked about in the beginning that brought you in were uh, concentration issues, brain fog, mm -hmm. uh, memory, memory problems. Are there any other things that I'm missing? Um, I think the, there's hair loss involved too, which I think um, it's, it's an effect of what was going on inside. Right. Yes. Right. So we did some testing on you through, through an extensive history. Um, I pinpointed some laboratory testing that we wanted to do, mm -hmm. and we were able to look at both your hormones, both through saliva and through blood testing. Yes. Uh, we were also, we ran a food panel on you that was a comprehensive food panel, not the t traditional one through LabCorp or Quest that would give you maybe immunoglobulin E or IgG, but it also has a C3D and a G IgG4. So what did we find on that test? <laughs> um, I'm reacting to a lot of foods that I didn't know I was reacting to. And I thought just because I'm eating vegetables, I thought I was doing the healthy, my, my, the healthy part of things. Can you tell us three foods that ordinarily we would have thought were healthy that you were reacting mm -hmm. to? Um, I did not realize broccoli was, was a big thing. Okay. And um, there's also eggs and celery. Yeah, surprise, among, surprise, among, yeah, right? So among them. Yeah. Those are unique to you. We had done an elimination with you and it wasn't enough. You were still having rashes. So we, we ordered this test and did it make a difference? Yes, it made a lot of difference. Like knowing which ones I should avoid or which ones I should control, um, it, it helped eliminate some of the reactions that I'm getting, the inflammation that I'm getting. So that really helped me a lot on as far as what, what, what to eat and what not to eat and what to continue eating, and that right. really helped. So that was super helpful. And as I understand now, you are free of rashes or hives. Yes, no more. And we've seen, uh, you had sciatic pain when you came in associated with inflammation. Yes. Uh, is that gone? It, that's gone too. Like okay. I don't feel anything anymore. And is your sleep improved? Oh, yes, immense, immensely. <laughs> Anxiety? Yes, that's improved too. And your energy, what is your energy on a scale of 1 to 10 now? Oh, I would say at least an 8. Like I'm doing more things now than, and, and I'm accomplishing a lot more things during the day when before I would just sleep. Majority of the time I would be asleep because I'm trying to keep up with the list of things that I have to do, the tasks that I have to do. But just thinking about it just gets me already tired and I, I couldn't accomplish anything. But now it's, I, I have... A, I could go through all my stuff during the day. So. Yeah, and you've since taken on uh, a job and you're yes. taking tests and there's mm -hmm. some demands at work that require uh, that you're free of the brain fog you yes. had, concentration yeah. problems, and you were slowed down. When we first saw you and we, we first communicated, there was a mm -hmm. slow manner of speech and cognitive was definitely uh, being impaired. Yeah. Uh, so, look, um, tell us what's happened with your cycle. Um, with my cycle, it used to be a full week and probably three to four days of heavy bleeding. And like we, we mentioned earlier, I take 
ibuprofen, acetaminophen, and I take them by probably handfuls, because <laughs> I, because that w that was the only way that I could get through the day with all the cramping that I would get, the pain, um, just to so I could be mobile. But now with all the changes that I've done, um, it's gone down to probably like three days and one major day of bleeding. How many ibuprofen do you think you need now? I would say one. One just per one period? one capsule for the whole cycle. Wow, that's awesome. So just one if I have to. And there time like, uh, just to, probably just the beginning of a cramp. And then after that, nothing. Usually I have to take two, three before it happens. And then when it happens, and then after, just yeah. to keep me right. going, but now just one. If well, and to. a couple other things like your adrenals, we found uh, your cortisol levels were really bad in the mornings. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, you, you had terrible gastrointestinal issues yes. with bloating. How's yes. that going now? Um, now it's, it's much better. Like I didn't know you could have a flat stomach because my normal was bloating. 24 7 like yeah. that was my normal before well you've done really well you've been very diligent and uh, we're proud to say you've mm -hmm. uh, been through a program with us and had great success so thank you so much for being a great patient and uh, keep up the good work thank you too